What's going on guys, Brian Seven Men's Comics. It is time for Last Call. Last Call, that's right, I'm giving you my picks for comic books that hit in final order cutoff this coming Monday night, February 7th. Make sure you get your pre-orders in, whether it's at your LCS, whether you're doing it online, or if you're doing it at Black Cape Comics, getting that discount. Either way, this coming Monday night is that final order cutoff for the books we're gonna discuss in this video. And the first one I'm gonna talk about is that Star Wars High Republic Adventures number two. We just had number one came out, fantastic issue. I actually like this series so far better than the Marvel Star Wars High Republic series. There's another great one. This is gonna have that regular cover, but it also has that incentive one in 10 variant going for it. A lot of buzz on that first issue. Get your pre-orders in now for that second issue. Also from IDW, we're getting that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin number one. This is gonna be that director's cut edition. It's gonna give you a behind the scenes look at that creation of this instant classic. It's also gonna have never be seen story layouts from Eastman, as well as notes that date back decades. No doubt, Last Ronin classic comic book. Talked about it on this channel before how, kind of equate this to like, Years ago with The Killing Joke, I could see The Last Ronin going that same way, where although Killing Joke was one issue, here with The Last Ronin, I still think it's an encapsulating story that people are gonna be talking about years from now. If you want some of those extra goodies, that Director's Cut edition is hitting Final Order Cutoff. Getting over to Marvel, we get America Chavez, made in the USA number one. I'm not a big fan of America Chavez, and a lot of people out there are. It's just doesn't, it's not one of those characters that I'm drawn to, but definitely respect that the fandom that exists for. This is gonna be a five issue miniseries with a brand new story about what makes America Chavez, America Chavez, and how far she'll go to the one she loves. You can ask anyone, it's only a matter of time before America Chavez shows up in the MCU. Even though take the media out of it, there's a lot of people that like this comic book character just from those comic stories alone. If I were to pick a cover on this one, I actually like that Stephanie Hans cover. That's the one I would pre-order. Stand with Marvel, we get Demon Days X-Men number one. This is part of that Stormbreaker series. This is actually written and interior art by Peach Momoko. That's right. Peach Momoko had a strong 2020, continues to carry that into 2021. This is going to be five issues and it's going to come out quarterly. And it's got a wandering swordsman that arrives at a village that's being targeted by demons. One is black and white with a terrifying red tongue. And another may be the strongest demon there is. I've gone on record, not a huge X-Men fan, but I'm interested in reading this. And it's got that Peach Momoko goodness, so you know it's worth pre-ordering. Also from Marvel, we're getting non-stop Spider-Man number one. Getting a new Spider-Man series, I'm actually excited to read this one. We got a mystery at the Empire State Building that thrusts Spider-Man into a new adventure that starts in Uptown Manhattan and will end up taking him around the world. They say this book is not for the faint of heart, but I, again, Marvel has to sell books somehow. Either way, I'm actually excited to pick this one up. There's a bunch of great covers for it. There's Scotty Young, there's Alex Ross, there's Ken Lashley, as well as a party variant, so you know they're gonna have a midnight release. Although I don't think the print run's gonna be very small, because there's a lot of covers. I am excited to read a different Spider-Man series. Then we're also getting Avengers number 43. We don't talk about the Avengers line too much on the last call. We talked about this one that's our kicked off, dealing with the Phoenix Force. I'm a big fan of Jason Aaron. This is one of my my monthly pulls. This Phoenix storyline has been really good. If you haven't been reading it, definitely recommend you do so. Another reason why to bring this up is Jim Bartel is doing those Women History Month variants. This one's got a great looking She-Hulk variant. I think it will be very popular. And I would also suggest being on the lookout for those other Women History Month variants that she's doing. She's got some great ones coming up for Black Panther. There's a bunch of other ones out there. Definitely keep an eye out for those. And after a tiny break, we're getting Batman back with Batman issue number 106. Batman's teaming up with the Ghost Maker to take on a new gang in Gotham City. This is almost one of those plug and play issues talked about here time and time again, how great this James Tynan run's been. This is gonna have that regular cover. There's also a great Jorge Jimenez wraparound variant, but you can't go wrong with either of those covers because the story inside of it has been so freaking good. That's gonna bring us into the indie showcase portion of this video. That's right, brought to you by Black Cape Comics at blackcapecomics.com. Again, all the books to talk about in this video, you can pre-order from Black Cape Comics. Black Cape, just like me at Simple Man's Comics, huge fan of indie comics, so that's why the indie showcase portion is brought to you by them. And we're getting right into it with Image Comics has Noctara number one. We've talked a while back about how Scott Snyder was moving over from DC back over to Image to concentrate on some creator owned work. And Scott steamed up with Tony S. Daniel for Noctara. I love Scott Snyder with the superhero books, but 
I really love his horror comics, Loved Witches. This one looks to be another great horror story. You might be asking, well, what's this book about? Well, 10 years after being plunged into everlasting night, turning all creatures into monstrous shades, the only way to survive is to stay close to artificial light. And with that, we get the protagonist, which is Valentina Riggs, who does jobs transporting goods back and forth amongst the unlit roads. Looks to be a big issue from Scott Snyder. Image seems to think so because they have the whole gamut of books for it. You can have regular covers, you can have incentive variants. You have incentive variants all, all the way up to a blank black one and 200 variant. Either way, Scott Snyder, even if you just pre-order cover A, I think this is gonna be a great series. Scott Snyder's never let us down on these books before and just like with Witches, he also has a cover with Jock. Then from Source Point Press, we get Cult of Dracula number one. This is gonna be a six issue mini series, another great horror comic. And if you've seen the Rising Sun, the movie, or read the book by Michael Crichton, the solicit kind of reminds me a little bit of it, but with the horror twist, here we get two investigators going to investigate a crime, the cult of Dracula mass suicides. Neither of the investigators are prepared for the gravity of the truths that they uncover. That one right there, I'm a big fan of Source Point Press. They put out some great books. This looks to be another great one worth picking up. It's written by Rich Davis and interior art by Henry Martinez. And the last one we're talking about in the indie showcase. This is probably my undervalued indie pick for the week. This is one that I would definitely pre-order just because I don't think a lot of shops will order it. So you want to secure your copy. And it's from Omni Press. Omni Press has put out some great series as well. And we get Jonna and the Unpossible Monsters number one. It's written by Eisner Award winner Chris Samney. It's another one of those fantasy adventures. I've been liking a lot of those, especially from Boom Studios. But this one is, like I said, it's from Omni Press. Here we have Jonna, who has lost her sister, and she's been looking for her for over a year. The last time she saw her sister was the first time that she saw one of these monsters that now roam the planet, which are big, ugly, dangerous creatures. But that doesn't stop Jonna. She knows her sister's out there and she'll do anything to find her. Earlier in this video, talked about Avengers number 43, talked about that Jen Bartel woman history variant. She has a variant for this book that I actually like better just because I think the art's fantastic, really suits her style. There's some other great covers for here as well. There's also some incentive variants for this, but my favorite, of course, is that Jim Bartel cover for it. Like I said, I don't expect this to be heavily ordered. I don't expect the print run for it to be great. And I've been loving these fantasy stories, so this is one I'm definitely pre-ordering. I think this is probably the one that might go unnoticed might not do anything, but either way, I'm in it for the story, so I can't wait for it to come out. That wraps the Indie Showcase portion. Now we're gonna talk about later printings. Don't have much in late printings this week, but I do have two from Marvel. Daredevil number 26 is hitting a second print. We all know how great 25 is. 25 just had a third print. That's carrying over now, Daredevil 26. So one of my favorite series. Talked about this since issue one. Chip Zdarsky is the man. In addition to that, you haven't been reading Stillwater from Image Comics, highly suggest you do, but I digress. Also from Marvel, we get that Star Wars High Republic number two getting a second print. Talk about it. You can't even go anywhere right now without hearing something Star Wars between toys, between Disney Plus, between the comics, between the Dark Horse comics. Star Wars, as Mugatu would say, is so hot right now. And I think WandaVision is right there with it. In fact, I think we might be talking a little bit of WandaVision on this week's coming three up, three down. So with that being said, guys, those are my picks for Fine Order Cutoff. This is Brian with Superman's Comics. I'll see you guys in the next video. I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the wet side